With us today is Morgan Berman. She's the CEO and founder of Milk Crate. So I'm going to talk today um, about Jersey Cares. My company is called Milk Crate, and we are a mission-driven software company that builds mobile apps for other mission-driven com- uh, organizations. And we work with a lot of different uh, types of organizations, including ones that are running volunteer initiatives. And a lot of those involve food delivery. We also build mobile apps for uh, program delivery. So like apps for the people that you're serving. But this use case, Jersey Cares, was about helping volunteers who were trying to solve uh, the food delivery issue for seniors during the pandemic. And we launched this in record time. We launched this app in a few weeks, actually. Um, And that's the beauty of doing things from a templated system. The way that we work is instead of building everything from scratch, we're using templates because these organizations all have similar problems and challenges. And so with Jersey Cares, um, we were, you know, trying to help get food to seniors. I'm the founder of Milk Crate, very involved in nonprofits. I also became a mother during the pandemic. um, So I'm used to solving all kinds of challenges, uh, both with and without technology. So the experience we wanted to create was to make it so that uh, users could download an app, create an account, see what orientation they needed to fill in to get trained, and then see what um, opportunities were available in the calendar, which seniors needed food delivered to them in their uh, community. And so they could sign up for that senior's grocery list, go shop for it, complete it and deliver it and check in by submitting a survey. So the problem was when they were launching this program, everything was all over the place. You've got the staff trying to let volunteers know what's going on. The volunteers needed to know what to buy, where to take the groceries. Um, It was a very convoluted, confusing process. And so the solution was, creating a nice, clean circle of communication where the staff can send alerts to volunteers, the volunteers can see a list of groceries, the grocery list and address and directions are all in one place. The seniors can get the food and that's verified with a photo of receipt and delivery and GPS check-in. And all of that data then flows back to the Jersey Cares team through the Milk Crate admin. That's basically what we were able to achieve in a few weeks using templated features from the Milk Crate platform. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the user experience of what the volunteers see when they download the Jersey Cares app. Um, So as you can see, Jamie, our our guinea pig uh, user here, uh, he's uh, on the leaderboard of the points he's earned for completing all these trips, delivering food for seniors. He can click on uh, find he can click on the activity button at the bottom and see who's done what he can send messages with the the staff to get help. And he has his quick stats about the amount of hours he's done, his status and what he's uh, contributed. It's in both app stores for iOS and Android. And when you're onboarded as a new user, uh, it asks you to identify various characteristics when you are available to shop and other things and all that gets stored in your profile uh, as a user. The core of the app is both having volunteers complete their orientation, but then really it's about signing up for the times when they're going to go deliver groceries. So every day of the week, there are opportunities to deliver groceries to different folks. um, So you can register for them and physically check in for those events. And when I say event, what I really mean is it's an opportunity to feed a senior and to collect their groceries. And so the Find Shopping Opportunities button opens up a calendar that shows the days of the week and which seniors need food. They have this kind of convoluted title. It makes sense to the volunteers, but NJC and a number, that basically is an order. That's like an order number and then the location and the budget. And that's like the core information and how they're organizing it. And that's why it's in the title. When you click on that uh, calendar item, if it shows a red X, that means someone's already taken it. If there isn't an X, that means we need someone to go do it. So it's kind of an open volunteer opportunity. Um, a shopping ticket, when you open it, it's got the details, including the uh, grocery list. Once you register, it has the instructions, and then it'll also automatically generate an email uh, or with the information that you can then email to yourself as well, just in case you wanted to print it out. Uh, you can upload the receipt using the app. And then this is the admin experience. So you just saw 
how a volunteer can see uh, available volunteer opportunities to get groceries, see the grocery list, take it to the senior's home, upload the receipt and the photos. And then this is the admin experience. This is where the Jersey Cares staff can add new opportunities, monitor user activity, and see all of the data of what's happening amongst the, the thousands of people that are kind of interacting with this system. Um, so the admin experience allows them to do what I just said, add new opportunities, um, view what's available, close completed things, and send out reminders and push notifications. So from the back end admin, uh, this is where you can scroll down and see the events. You can add a new event. And when I say event, that basically just means a day uh, on the calendar where a senior has their grocery list that they need picked up for them. And basically you can just close out the opportunities once uh, you wanna remove it. And you can see how many, you can set how many points, how many openings are available, et cetera. You can send push notifications um, and you can do that to one specific volunteer, a group who maybe are in a, um, a specific region or have some other kind of similarity uh, trait that they've identified in their profile, or you could send it to everyone. Milk Crate is a platform that builds a quick, affordable mobile app for a nonprofit program to either help boost volunteer engagement and communication, as well as tracking it, or for your participants. So uh, we build apps for returning citizens to use, or teenagers in a youth enrichment program, or parents in a parent you know, training program. You can have an app for your volunteers or for the people that the volunteers or your staff are serving, and we do both. That's how we work. That's kind of our tech stack. It's a, a private white-labeled system that we've created specifically to help meet the needs of nonprofits, and we love working with nonprofits that are helping sil uh, solve food insecurity issues. I actually got to present a few months ago for another one of our, our farm gleaning clients. I think, yes. So we actually created the Glean Team app for gleaning programs because we started getting so many of them. So we've got a ready-to-go solution specifically for gleaning programs um, that you can check out on our website. Check out milkcrate.tech to see some of those features. If you're interested in learning about how we could help your organization, please reach out. I'm happy to talk to you and see if we can be helpful to your program or volunteer initiative. <music>